Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Hardware Software. In our previous tutorial, I teach you how to configure and install Squid and Squid Guard. And now, I'm going to teach you in this tutorial how to install and configure Light Squid. Light Squid is a package in your PFSense where and you can see the internet usage monitoring of your of your network. So, let's get started. Well, Install first the package name LightSquid in System Package Manager. Available packages. Then search for LightSquid. And search. Right. Then LightSquid is a high performance web proxy reporting tool. It includes Proxy real-time statistics requires a squid package. So its prerequisite is in order for you to install light squid is squid squid package. Then install and confirm. So I'm gonna pause the video for a moment while the package is installing. All right, the package installation is now finished. So we will configure now our light squid. We can configure it here in status. Then squid proxy reports. All right. Light squid uses the port 7445. Then the you can specify here your own light squid web user and password. By default it is admin. The user is admin and the password is thief sense by default. And you can configure here the report template settings. So my language is English. Report template, I'm going to use the default. And bar color, you can change the bar color into whatever you want. I'm going to choose blue. Then, hyper-resolve method. The default is DNS. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to change that one. Then, refresh the scheduler. I'm going to make it every... 10 minutes, select data refresh period. The reporting task will be executed every XX minutes hour. So I'm gonna make it 10 minutes every hours. So it will be refreshed every 10 minutes. Then use this button to start the background refresh to the speed report. So if you need to refresh the reporting, then you can do it in here in refresh and refresh full. So I'm gonna save this one. Right, then we will now access the light screen. Right, the username is admin, the password is pfsense. Right, let's create a diagnostic report folder. Var let screen report not contain any valid data. Please run light parser. So, we'll first access certain data in order for us to, in order for the light screen to show our reporting. So. I'm going to access again the TF Sense and search here websites. Alright, oh no, finally consult to your network and help them for more info. Hmm. Alright, it's just the history that I accessed. I'm going to clear the history first so that no one will, no website can hinder the search. So, I'm going to clear first the history. Where is it? Clear data from the vehicle time. Clear data. Alright. So, let's try to search the uh, Cisco. Search. You should get the websites. <clears throat> right. 
So we will be expecting that the light squid will now have a <coughs> graphic. So let's access it again. Here in status, squid proxy reports. Advance. What will it proceed to unsave? Okay. Admin, do you have sense? We'll access the light squid, squid proxy reports. Alright. Then open light squid. What's the problem here? Report folder var light squid report not contain any valid data. Please run light parser. Okay. I think we need first to refresh. So we'll try to refresh. We need first to refresh. Let's go. Refresh food. Let's try to save. Then we'll review the proxy server. Maybe we have uh, missed configuration here, some configuration here. It's <clears throat> already good. Let's try it again. Maybe the services did not run, so we'll check first the services. This one is for the clan AV. We did not yet enable this one, so it's just fine. Let's speed. It's already start running, so we'll try to access it again. Click info and then follow the instruction. We need to check first this one. Enable and configure speed logging. It's already done. <clears throat> it's already done. Then loop back. I we already included loop back. Right, I think it's already done. So check. All right, as you can see, we the date now is February one. So February one is one. So the traffic is five point four m megabytes average from four megabytes. If we click this one, we can see a host which is my which is this one, which is my client PC. Alright, so you can see that one. And if we click that one, you can see the website access. Alright, so you can see it is all HTTP, no HTTP is included. So, this is it guys, you can see here the internet usage or the website accessed by your users on the, in your network so this tool is very helpful for us to know the internet usage of our network hope you like this video guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye for now